Baba's Leelas have been happening in this house, at, at least visible to us at human level, the Leelas, since uh, 8th of August, which was last, last Sunday. Tell us uh, what Leelas are for those that don't know. Uh, Leelas are uh, something that are beyond uh, uh, hu hu human being to understand as to why is that, that they are happening. Uh, there's no scientific explanation why things are happening. An example of a Leela is formation of a vibhuti uh, on several of the Baba's pictures in the house oh. or all over the house no, or, no, or the picture, flow, flow of Amrut. Amrut is a sweet nectar, is honey-like nectar flowing from Baba's pictures as uh, uh, Sindur, which is red powder, which customary Indian ladies apply on their forehead awesome. is appearing kumkum kum, also known as kumkum kum. thank you jack yeah is appearing on several pictures baba's pictures uh, other uh, pictures of other forms of gurus other forms of god it's not necessarily baba's pictures people have been bringing pictures in this house and dedicating to baba giving it to baba and baba is blessing them even though they're not his pictures as baba has baba has said all forms are my forms, all names are my names. So you just continue worshiping the form that you have chosen to worship into. And the rest is we all taken care of. And Baba has demonstrated that here, is that he's been blessing all people from all parts, parts of life. Uh, um, uh, uh, cities. There, there, are, there are Christians, there are Hindus, uh, there are Jews. I mean, all people have come up here. And in Hinduism also, you know, there are several forms of gods, and they've been bringing their pictures up here uh, to be blessed by Baba. Uh, and Baba's been blessing them. They're not necessarily his, his, his own pictures of his present form, which he is in. So that's incredible. That's, that's what I'm trying to explain, what, what Leela is. As Baba says, it's, it's very easy for a yogi or a person to just uh, 
give up the uh, the life. I mean, just just go away from from your worldly matters and go take a resort in Himalayas or up in the forest and do tapasyas. And it's a lot easier to get access to God that way. But that's not that He wants. He wants us all to live our normal life that he, he has given us wife and children and responsibilities and the work to work in. He wants us to carry out those responsibilities. If all of us just give up those and go take, in, stay in, in the woods, then how is this universe going to function? So what he says is to, to, to demonstrate is just to live up the, the life, uh, live up to, to, for which he has brought you on, in, on, on this earth. Uh, uh, live with your family perform your duties, perform your uh, karmas, and then rest the, the the fruits of the karma, just dedicate to him and live it up to it. In, okay, in, in my family, I have a wife, Sunita, and we, Sayana, and we have three children, Reshma, Manoj, and Arti, which are 10, 6, and 5. And we were introduced to Baba three years ago in, in St. Louis, and then since then we moved from St. Louis, and that's when I went to India and met Baba. And then since then I have we moved to Virginia, where we did not have a Baba Center. And we had this, since we did not have a Baba Center, we missed it, so we started doing bhajans at home every Thursday within our family members. And that's how our children in my family here have been introduced to Baba, and we're so close to it. In fact, the five-year-old is totally dedicated to Baba. I mean, she knows if anything goes wrong, the Baba's going to take care of it. Uh, she would just walk out of the house and say, uh, this Sai Ram, Jai Ram, Sai Ram, Jai Bhagawan Jai. You, you say Sai Ram, and she'll reply, Sai Ram, Jai Bhagawan Jai. And she's, each time she'll come in, she'll, she'll go out of the house, or she'll go for a long distance, leave, leave the house op, uh, three or four days. She says, the house is not empty, Baba's there. There's nobody can come in this house. Baba's taking care of it. If anything goes wrong, she'll say, Sai Ram, Jai Bhagawan Jai, and she knows that'll take care of all her problems. I mean, she's a five-year-old, but look at the faith of a child. She always count. we have six members in the family. That is a very good five point. of us, and the sixth is Baba. We never mm -hmm. said that we have five in the family. We not, always not said we are six in the family. Not, not even here. Uh, she goes in schools, I and mean, the children, the teacher asks you, write, write your family member's name. She'll write mother, father's name, Ramesh, Sunita, then she'll write the sister's name, Reshma, Manoj, herself and Baba. And Baba. She knows the six members in the family. That's it's, very true. Yeah. Uh, but as, as, but then, then since we moved to Connecticut two years ago, at, at least uh, almost a year and a half ago, in December that we moved here, in uh, 1980, uh, in, we kept continuing doing our Thursday bhajan sessions. And uh, then in April we joined the Baba Center. We learned this Norwalk Baba. There's a, uh, Foundry, New York, the Baba Center. That's where we started going on Sunday sessions. And we had some discussions in the family, Sunita and myself, as to, she would say, well, now that we have a Baba Center, we, we used to do on Thursdays. Why should we do now bhajans even on th uh, Thursday? Because we're going Sundays to Baba Center. Uh, I gave a quote from Baba. As Baba, as Baba has said in one of his uh, discourses in uh, uh, Sanat Sarathi, is it is healthy and he recommends that every, each and every family in their houses should do uh, sing bhajans which are devotional songs at least once a week he recommends daily but at least once a week as a family member you should do that and it is it is uh, good for us singing devotional songs which kills our ego away and it also it's uh, good for children as they're being brought up uh, to thank lord for everything is being that, uh, done for them uh, so we had discussions and finally we decided we'll continue doing it on every Thursdays and we've been doing it in our house and since then we have had two or three other families who have been interested and been coming. You, you can quote uh, on that how you ran into that family. Which one? Uh, from Ceylon. Yeah, I met one lady who's from Ceylon and her father-in-law is a great devotee of Baba. Uh, she just visited my house and she said, oh, you are devotee of Sri Satya Sai Baba. My father-in-law, he always, you know, goes to him and meet him. And her husband is a doctor. He didn't have enough time. So she said, that's all right. I'll just bring my children. So ever since she's been coming with two of our, uh, uh, two of her kids, one is 10-year-old daughter and her 8-year-old son. And every night, 
Before going to bed, we go to Satya Baba's room and say the Aarti, say Asatoma, have a vibhuti, say our good night prayers to Baba, and the children go to bed. So it's been nice, and we're really having peace of mind. And this is my son Manoj. Manoj. Say hi. He's, he's, a, six year, he's a six year On my left side, my niece is sitting, Mona. And she just is visiting us. She's from Accra, Ghana. And last week, she Where just. Is Ghana? Ghana is in West Africa. And she just been here with me for the last four weeks. And last week, she just came. I was cooking in the kitchen. And she said, Auntie, can I tell you something? And I said, Sure. She said, Auntie, I had a dream. I don't know whether I should tell you or not. And I said, Go ahead, tell me. And I'll tell Bina, Mona to describe what was her dream was. Saira, <clears throat> as I mentioned earlier about the dream I had um, of me singing this bhajan at the Baba Center at Nawa and uh, the Bhuti appearing. And I had this dream on the 4th of August. And on the 8th of August, all these miracles started happening in the house, in Sainivas. The important thing is that bhajan and this link to bhajan explanation of that one line of bhajan, what does bhajan mean? Like, ana hi padega, ana hi padega, that's bhajan. What it means? So, I, yes. I have sang it, I have sang it on the TV. It's ana hi padega, it means you're just calling to Baba to come. And he did come to sign Nivas. And uh, the second dream I had was on the 10th August of this Vibhuti storm. dream I had was on the 10th of August and in this dream I saw no form, no voice, nothing but it was the wind blowing in the windows and that um, the sound of the wind in the windows and vibhuti blowing all over the, the place. It was a sort of a vibhuti storm and that afternoon there literally was a vibhuti storm in Sai Nivas. It was just yesterday morning, Saturday morning, which is nearly a week since this Leela started. It was early in the morning, about 5 o'clock, and I see Baba wearing white, and he was so glorious. Tell Ramesh, Sai Nivas will be Sai Center, and I have a few more devotees to bless, so these Leelas will stop from Sunday, after Sunday. And yeah, I, I have a background in uh, electrical engineering and uh, I work in software engineering for ITT. I think Baba has given me a big responsibility taking care of three children. The work doesn't stop. <laughs> and work doesn't stop. It goes on and on. But I enjoy it. I enjoy it, Saira. I'm also a housewife in Accra. Back in Accra, when I was pregnant with Vishal, my last son, who's, who's uh, two years old now, when I was four months pregnant, I had a bhajan session in my house. And in the prasad, I, I got a silver statue of the Lord Krishna in the crawling form, you know, in the baby form. And it was a guarantee from Baba that I was going to get a son, and I did get a son. And. Um, that Krishna statue, I put it in a thali, which has a statue of Shirdi Baba. And since that day, till today, there's Vibhuti flowing into the thali. I keep emptying the, the plate. Thali is the plate. I keep emptying it, giving it to people. People come and give it uh, and take it from me. And it just keeps on filling up every time I take it. Constant supply. Constant supply. We're, uh, we're just completing. This is the bhajans in the background, the devotional songs that you hear are those that uh, are ongoing uh, throughout the world at different times, different days, and, and they're just ending here this Sunday morning in Connecticut. And we're very happy to share the various manifestations of Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba with all of you on this day. 
And Baba does not uh, ask anyone to worship him, but he says, come and investigate. And often these, these questions about these manifestations that occur, uh, some people are skeptical. And Baba says, these are my calling cards. I give people what they ask for so that they'll come to ask for what I've come to give. And that is his greatest manifestation or miracle, the way everyone's lives that meet him and that take a step towards him are transformed and changed. His message, his life, that is his message. Sai Ram. This is Arti. She's the last born of Ramesh. And uh, she's a very, very devoted child to Sai Baba. And when the Vibhuti appeared on that picture above her, she, the, her first words were, Oh my God, when I sleep there, Baba's going to throw Vibhuti on me. She's a very, very devoted child. <laughs> see the amber coming from Swami's mouth on this close-up. say something about this picture here it's drawn by a, a little a little boy Sanjay and he's addressed it to Baba he's written to Baba with love from Sanjay and he's drew, he's he's drawn Sai Gita as well and he it just came in a few minutes ago and as you can see it has sandalwood already on it blessed the picture is blessed there's another one here I'd like to show you, which has no sandalwood on it. But I, I right now notice that it has Om on it with Baba. It has Om with Baba on it. It's autographed. Now, who, where would that have come from? I don't know. Was that there before? No, I put it there. Now, it did not have the Om on it? No. I, I just, as I was taking this, I, I happened to glance there. Oh my. This is the first written sign of Baba in this house. Can you see Baba? Yes, and the Om is all over the picture. This is the picture which was brought into the living room from, from the closet from the closet after fr being framed day on which we were doing K Krishna's birthday celebrations. Uh, all people were mentioning, well, there are a lot of people coming. That's the reason we just filled up all the rooms with the pictures. Uh, the, the ba Baba's omnipresence and Baba's love for devotees is very, very much obvious from what had happened to this picture. No sooner did the picture was placed on here, it was showered with the vibhuti up here this way. And the kumkum that you see on it was put on it 
uh, by Baba uh, yesterday, uh, the, the small lotus feet picture was kept here by Sashi and Vasanta. Uh, the Vibhuti started materializing on it just in the process was being, being brought from the closet and ready to be mounted just at, on this corner. And a few minutes later, more Vibhuti was materialized on it. These pictures here in the living room, four of these here, is, are, will give a prime example how Baba has been fulfilling children's demands, so to say, or sometimes requests, but in this case it's demand. Uh, here's Manoj, my young, younger, uh, youngest son, six-year-old, and uh, he made certain requests to Baba, and he's going to tell that story. Come, uh, Manoj, what, one afternoon, was Tuesday afternoon, what, what, what did you tell me when I was in the, in the prayer hall, prayer room? Daddy, what are you doing? And what did I say? You said that you were praying. Yeah, and then what did you say? What? Pray to Baba so... Speak loud. Pray to Baba so it'll come in the living room. What will come in the living room? The booty on the four pictures. And then what did Daddy tell you? You said that pray yourself. Okay, and then what did you do? I prayed. And then what happened after that? Then it came in your room. In my bedroom, daddy's bedroom? Mm-hmm. And then what happened to you? Did you see in the bedroom with Bhuti there? Yes. And then what, what did you say? The next morning, Wednesday, it <laughs> happened. Oh, okay, but when it came in the bedroom in the afternoon, it didn't come in the living room, right? Yes. What, what did you say to Baba? Baba, I told you to bring it in the living room. Oh, you were sort of mad at Baba, weren't you? Okay, and then what happened next? Then, the when Papa went to work, uh -huh. then he... Just be, be comfortable. Right, okay, when Papa went to work, then what happened? Then, when he went to work, for the past is beyond recovery. Those days are gone. The future you are not sure of. The given moment is now. Do not delay in the path of right action. Come just one step forward. I shall take a hundred towards you. Shed just one tear. I shall wipe a hundred from your eyes. It is wrong to desist from the appropriate action, placing reliance upon destiny. If you do so, even desti destiny will slip out of your hands. Are you practicing bro brotherliness, tolerance, equanimity, charity, and compassion? These are the armors that guard the mind from the arrows of sorrow and pain. This is one of, uh, another one of Baba's many lilas here. And as you can see in this picture, there are many, many, many splashes. The first one started from his heart, right here. And then, as the days went by, they went on increasing. There are about eight or nine splashes here. And right below that picture, is this one from the Novak Center. And you can see the sindoor on it. The sindoor right over here, which appeared just this morning. Kumkum sindoor? Oh, sorry, uh, kumkum. It's also called sindoor, by the way. Uh -huh. Yeah, kumkum and sindoor is the same thing. Uh -huh. Yeah. And another one is right here, with the sindoor on his hair. This is also from the Norwalk Center. Right, the next picture here is fantastic. It's inside this cupboard, this china cupboard, and it has Baba's silver image there. And you can see the vibhuti 
on the wooden frame outside. It was with such a force, it was splashed with such a force that it has some on the sides of the cupboard, as you can see. There are some on each side. This picture here, you see, it's on the outside of the freezer. It has this Baba's picture here with his foot on a stool and Vibhuti all over him. At the end of the picture, Baba says, I love you. Close the door now to the refrigerator. You all have an idea of we're looking into the kitchen. Okay, thank you. These are the beautiful pictures they've been brought from, from the bedroom. It's another creation of Baba's Leela. This happened on the second day of the the whole third day of the whole process, and the thing started on Sunday morning. Beautiful shot. <clears throat> this this is the very fav very favorite picture for me and very special for me. My first visit to India in '79 of February. It was just a day and a half visit, and uh, on the second day. Baba came and autographed the picture for me. Yeah. Here's another Leela of Baba in the family room where Baba is holding a lingam and it's filled up all with the bhuti. This, this happened about third day of the whole process when it started, third day from Sunday. What was happening just now in the other room? Oh, in the other room right now, people have come running in. We've got to go see it. Uh, there's one large picture in uh, Reshma's room, one of the girls' room, and they say it's just filled up with so much of sandalwood powder that it, the whole carpet is filled up. <laughs> Lord, Lord Krishna's and Arjuna's picture, as you can see, with Lord Krishna on, sitting on the chariot. Uh, it, this creation of Vibhuti just happened day before Krishna Jayanti celebrations. And it, it, it has a small story behind it. Sunita had called Lola, one of the uh, Sai Baba Center members in, from Norwalk, and was, she was talking to her. And Sunita was told, well, tomorrow is Krishna's, Krishna's birthday, and this is Krishna's gift to you. And as Lola uttered Krishna, Krishna's birthday, at the same moment, the vibhuti appeared on it. It was, it was, it was timing on, on telephone. One was saying Krishna and the, and Baba Matrila's vibhuti right up here. Okay. From what we have noticed over the last seven days, it seems Baba, or it seems, it's obviously Baba has accepted this house to be his place of residence. On the 4th of August, I had a dream, and in the dream I saw that I was in Baba Center in Norwalk, and I was singing a particular bhajan, Anahi Parega, and with my eyes closed. After I opened my eyes, there was Viputi all over the pictures. That was my dream on the 4th of August. And um, Would you sing that bhajan for us right now, please? I would. It goes like this. Bhattuni hai, aaj pukara, humne pukara, papa sabne pukara, de do de do humko sahara, anna hi padega, baba anna hi padega, anna hi padega. Shirdi se yao, chahe parthi se yao. Mathura se yao, ya yodhya se yao. Makkah se yao, ya madina se yao. O mere maula, o mere sai, tum kahi se bhi yao. Anna hi padega, baba, anna hi padega, anna hi padega, anna hi padega. This uh, bhajan, I will translate it into English. It means the first line, anna hi padega, um, bhakto ne hai aaj pukhara, is devotees 
are calling upon you, Baba. The second line is, Hamne pukara, Baba, sabne pukara. I have called upon you, everyone else is calling upon you. Anahi parega, Baba, anahi parega. You have to come, you've just got to come. It doesn't matter whether you come from Shirdi or from Perthi. You may come from Mathura or you may come from Ayodhya. You may be from Mecca or Medina. And the last line says, we don't care where you come from, but as long as you come, you must come, Baba. And we are calling out to Baba to come to us. So beautiful. Yes. And in my dream, I sang this bhajan and Vibhuti appeared in the Baba Center. This was on the 4th August. On the 8th August, which is was Sunday, and every Sunday we go for bhajans to the Baba Center in Norwalk. In the morning, Ramesh came here for meditation, as he always does. And uh, he's found in the room, in Baba's room. Uh, he, he noticed that there was Vibhuti on this statue of Shirdi Sai Baba. It has Vibhuti all over it, underneath it. And he came out and he asked us, have you noticed this? And we all said no, so we all rushed to the room. The next thing my brother noticed was, up was up here on this picture. He said, my God, Baba is crying. And we saw two streaks of tears, and we tasted the drops at the end. It was nectar, amrit. Mm. And we, we were all, you know, we were speechless. We didn't know what to say. And then the next, after five minutes, we noticed to, on this down picture, there was amrit from the mouth, like that. And it was so much, it was flowing. I suggested to Ramesh that we should maybe put a, a plate underneath it to catch the amrit, and we did. We caught a spoonful in the beginning, but later on it got to be maybe half a cup of amrit mm. in there, which people had at pras as prasad. Let me come close on, the, on that picture. This one. Let's see if we can capture the trails of amrit. Yeah. The, the vibhuti and the kumkum came later on. Mm -hmm. It came later on. The kumkum appeared just yesterday afternoon. Mm -hmm. We might mention that the kumkum on the forehead was, was not a manifestation. Yes, this was put on. This is put on on every picture. Yes, that, the, the kumkum. Yes. With the exception of the earth picture we just saw. Yeah, uh, that was a, a natural. Appeared. Natural happening. Mm -hmm. Yes. But the, the kumkum that we see here. This one. Has occurred just within a day. <laughs> Is that today or within? Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. Very fun. This Shirdi Baba statue was brought in by a non-devotee. She didn't believe in any of these uh, happenings going on. So she came and she brought this statue here. And she said, um, I told her that you may get Vibhuti on it. You put it in a plate. And she said, oh, I don't want Vibhuti Baba, I want Sindur and I want Sandalwood. And this morning when we got up, you can see he's, uh, he's covered with it. And how many other objects do they have Sandalwood? They have a lot of pictures here. Should we start from here? Yes. Yeah. They have, most of these occurred today, some of them yesterday, but they all have Sandalwood on them. I mean, I'm just on that first picture. I'm coming in close, and I'm focusing on the sandalwood. It's all down oh, here. There. These are all pictures brought in by devotees, just to be blessed. He hasn't left anyone out. Mm -hmm. He has pleased every child who brought any picture to him. Here, here. Of course, we see pictures full of abuti as well. Yes. Abuti, sandalwood, kumkum, and rita. All the All pictures. All spontaneously occurring on pictures throughout this yeah. puja. This picture of Christ has had one drop of amrit on it, which was taken by a devotee who came and was tasted by him. And I said, oh, but that belongs to Craig. 
Craig is the president of our Norwalk Center. Mm. And I said, why did you take that drop? Uh, it was meant for Craig. But right after I said that, there are, you can see, several drops on it. Mm, yes. And Sindur as well. And all these pictures have Vibhuti on them. Mm. All over. And the that picture on the top there, this one with a jar. This was one picture we didn't expect Vibhuti on. Mm -hmm. Because they were saying, why hasn't this picture got anything? And I said, how can it get anything when there's Vibhuti all over the picture already inside? Mm -hmm. But no, Baba didn't omit that. Sure, you see Vibhuti and Kumkum. Kum. Right. This appeared on the early, in the early hours of the morning, which was um, Krishna's birthday. Janmashtami, we call it. And uh, you can see the kumkum -kum on it. Hmm. Is that Vibhuti? Yes, Vibhuti splashed all over and kumkum -kum there. Look at the Vibhuti on the statue, how much it is on that. Yeah, and, and this is Shiva. Shiva had the Vibhuti on his chest first and his face. Right. And the next day, it was like a shower coming from his hair. I don't know where it's coming from. It's like sprinkled on him. That's sandalwood. Yes, I see. You want me to show the rose first? Yes, let's look at the rose first in your hand. And Mona, would you tell us the story of the rose? Yeah. Uh, on Krishna's birthday, we had bhajans here. And um, th in this pot, we have uh, coconut water, which we distributed as gel. And there was nothing in it but tulsi leaves, you know. And uh, after I was giving, I was the one giving out the gel to people. And as the gel reached halfway through, I had to till the kettle a bit. As I tilled it, I felt an object moving in. So I said, my God, there's something in there. But I, I had to wait till I had given, finished giving everybody everything. And when I finished, I tried to use a spoon. It wouldn't come out. So I put my hand in. I was so excited. I wanted to get it out. And this is what I got, this mm. uh, red rose. It's, it's a pin you can put on your dress. It's a brooch. Hmm. It came right out of the blue <laughs> from the gel. Uh, now we know what the origin of right out of the blue is. <laughs> That's very good. Right. Reference to Krishna. Isn't that something? Little yes. play on words. Beautiful, no? <laughs> right out. Okay. That's lovely yeah. to be. Have you been yeah. in? Oh, come in. Let me come out and let you come in. There's so much to see that you can spend 10 hours in. It did. I looked at it and it moved. Yes, it does move when you look at it. Should we go in the cradle? Yes, we can. Now we're looking it moved. Okay. Yes. Well, there is a window that's open, too, I must add. That is what? true. <laughs> what? No, I'm just saying there is a window open, too. What window? Mm -hmm. There's a little breeze as well. That is no, but it does move when you look at it. Yeah, yeah. I've seen. I've seen. Yeah, you see? I don't think that the breeze would do that. No, it, it in drops. Fact, in fact, the minute you said that, it began to move so fast. Yes, to just prove what I said. That's exactly why. That's perfect. Would you tell us about the... Yes, uh, this is the cradle we made um, for, for his birthday. And we got this photograph of Krishna being just born. And we put it inside there. And uh, five minutes after, there were showers of sandalwood in it. The whole cradle is full of sandalwood. And one thing, one thing about this cradle is, the minute anybody looks at it, it starts to rock. Not swing, but rock, you know, like that. Like that. E exactly, like that. <laughs> it's rocking. See how it's rocking? Like you're putting a baby to sleep. This is Baba's chair, and this picture was given to me by Ramesh, and I said, okay, the best place to place it is the chair, and I put it here, and a few seconds later, there was Vibhuti all over it. Plus, there was sandalwood and Vibhuti on the chair, and some wrinkles as if someone has sat on it. Can you, can you see the wrinkles? 
just beginning to. I think we can. You can? Yes, I think we can see the wrinkles. Yes. Just and focusing in on those. Yeah. Um, the next day, morning, we came down. That was, again, Krishna's birthday. What day was that? Fourteenth? I think so, fourteenth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Ramesh came to the room in the morning, and the first thing he notices is these footprints. As if he has, he has sprinkled vibhuti here, sandalwood here, pressed his foot on it. And this picture right here, you, as you can see, it, it has to be lifted for the footprints to be on. So it, it looked like Baba had lifted this picture, made space for his prints, put the prints there, and put the picture right back. Mm. There was a flower here, which he picked up and put on the Gita. Which he put where? On the Bhagavad Gita. On the Bhagavad Gita, which is over Which is just left. right here. Right here. Hmm? The flower was here. The Bhagavad Gita is covered with this lace at the present time, which has uh, pictures of home. And these pictures belong to Jack, which he brought in yesterday. And they were within a few seconds, I should say, <laughs> sprinkled with sandalwood powder. He also has a picture here. Can you see that? Uh, no? no? I don't think we can catch that picture. It's full of sandalwood. I don't want to move it. It's full of sandalwood, too. Yes. Yeah. Mm. We'll get an overall view then of yeah. the... Yeah, overall view. Right on top of the chair is also Guru Nanak's picture, which has Vibhuti on it also. In the Beautiful picture. Of the Shiva statue, we have Ganesh. He is also splashed all over with the Bodhi. As you can see, Can you come here? Right. right next to the Shiva statue, we have this beautiful picture of Baba. It's so lovely. And it, was, it belongs to the, I don't know how to pronounce that word, Skepik C, I don't know, where the place is, the center. Mm -hmm. the oh, yeah. It belongs to their center. And it had it has sindur over it, but this is slippery. So most of the sindur, uh, gumkum, I should say, we call it sindur too, slipped to the ground, which I collected. And the interesting effect. These are just lights reflected in this room. Mm -hmm. It's as though beams of light are coming out of yeah. the stone. Let me take some of the pictures out from here. Right here, we have the sarva dharma picture. As you can see, it's also splashed with the bhuti there. And next to it, just on the wall, is this wooden frame with Om on it that has also got Vibhuti. It looked like Baba splashed it so hard, some went on the wall. We're going further. And right here, I like that poster on the wall, which... Where there is faith, there is love. Where there is love, there is peace. Where there is peace, there is God. Where there is God, there is no need. That's Reshma, Ramesh's daughter, oh, speaking. <laughs> we go to the wall here. This picture of Sai Baba has Vibhuti on it. But I must tell you that if you watch the eyes closely, it's just like it's brimming with tears. His eyes are brimming with tears. I and Rishma were talking about it, and we expected Amrut from, the tea, from his eyes. But we got Vibhuti coming, just as if it's from his mouth, you see? And right here, 
we have Shirdi Baba, which has also got Vibhuti smeared on him. This picture we see here, I should say this folder here, was brought in yesterday by Jack. And uh, he gave it to me and I placed it here because this space was empty. And as you can see on it, he went to have dinner, he was at the table, and I just came in, happened to come in, and I, I called him, he came running. We have Sindur all over here. It just looks like it's coming from Baba's hand. Kumkum. The kumkum, see? And we have a blotch of kumkum right on Jack's mouth. Now what does that mean? <laughs> you talk too much? Yes. <laughs> yes. This picture was autographed by Baba for Jack. Picture of Shirdi Baba and Sai Baba and myself was uh, just signed. It was taken in 78. And during my last trip in, in 82, uh, Baba autographed it, and uh, I finally framed it and brought it here. And I was guided to bring that today, and uh, it's the one that seems that Kumkum Kum appeared instantly on that. And the interpretation of all the Kumkum Kum on, on my mouth and all over the picture and all over Shirdi, uh, I actually leave to your own imagination as to why it was there. Now, would you tell us about the dream that you had, again, of the Vibhuti yeah. storm? I had this uh, dream while I was having my afternoon nap. Mm -hmm. And there was no form, there was nobody in the dream, but the sound of wind in the windows. And the howling sound of wind, if you know what I mean, in the storm. And all I could see was Vibhuti flying here and there. It was like a storm of Ibuti was coming. And right that afternoon, the storm really did occur here because all the pictures were being splashed in the house with Ibuti. It was like my dream come true. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think the greatest storm that we witnessed, uh, somebody shouted, Sai Ram, and they started running back into, uh, uh, into the prayer room down here. And this, there was Ibuti in, uh, in one, of, one, of, one, of, one of the pictures, right? I, I think it's, it started with Vibhuti on the main on page. The on, on the ohm. right here. Yes. Okay, after that, it was a splash of sort of eight. We counted eight at one time. We could see they just went back. It just happened split second. Uh, only thing we could notice was this this one up here uh, on Chiri Sai Baba is where my eye felt on. I could see the Vibhuti just coming out from from the space here in, in, the, in the atmosphere and just going this way in a waveform and just sticking on the picture. I mean, of, of all these so many pictures on which we've seen Vibhuti and Kumkum Kum and uh, um, sandalwood. sandalwood, this is the only one we could see, at least at least I could see, I think, uh, one in the process of being splitted o o over the... Bhabi uh, did too. Bhabi did uh, my, my, my My wife did it too. Sunita did that too. But it, that was the one we could see in a split second, back to back, picture after picture was getting splash of Vibhutis on it. Uh, but that evening, uh, as, as Veena said, Vibhutis was coming on pictures. You, you can say at intervals of 10, 15 minutes, it'll come here and all the children will run in one corner of the house and make noise and uh, joy and won't believe what's happening. And then they will run another corner of the house because Baba will chase them one place, show them the miracle, and then go to other part of the house. Uh, to the extent it was coming so often that uh, children uh, kind of uh, derived that Baba strikes twice. When he does it, one picture, he, is he hits somewhere else, he has hidden somewhere else. And they go all around the house and find where, where was the second strike. Uh, I mean, they experimented two times, three times. Yes, it did happen twice. Whenever he did it, uh, he did two pictures back to back. But then he would just change his, change his strategy, he'll be back to three strikes, and he'll be back to one strike. And we said, you, you just cannot question the divine. He, he, he's just playing. Leela, he's just playing games, you know, just, just like Bal Leela, as Krishna used to play. He's just playing with children, playing with the visitors in the house. And it was, it was just fantastic. Uh, several times on that same evening, Vibhuti uh, started coming. Visitors would come in in the house, they're sitting up there. We we're just talking to them. All of a sudden, Vibhuti will appear in some, some part of the house, and they'll also run it. It's sort of a special gift to each special person. Uh, 
you know, it was also, also by Wednesday, message had spread around quite a bit. So uh, m more so to non-devotees than devotees by Wednesday. Uh, that is prior to Janmashtami, which was Thursday. And more and more non-devotees were coming. And that's when we were seeing the, the frequency of appearance of Vibhutis on the picture was a lot, lot faster. And more and more non-devotees were there. Of course, since Wednesday night and Thursday, uh, people have been coming from all centers uh, in Connecticut and New York and uh, in upstate New York. And uh, since then, of course, each center, people have been bringing their pictures and they're getting the devotees blessed. I want to share with you while you're yeah. talking, Ramesh. Yeah. And I'm now looking at a picture in the middle. Okay. Um, in the middle of the screen. And on the, on the video screen, the face of Baba, ha it looks as though he's wearing glasses. Uh, as though, is that picture? the one? As though, yeah, mm -hmm. as though it's your picture. No, I'm talking about the big picture. This one? On the screen here, it looks like you are Ramesh. Ramesh is Baba, and Baba is you. As is the, right? the picture it looks like Baba. See later. His mustache is there, and everything is there. You'll have to see this on the screen. Now, you stay in 1976 during my first visit. Uh, when I took this picture, I was asking Baba inwardly, mm -hmm. when will I get an interview? Mm -hmm. And I had a full beard, a full beard at uh -huh. that time. Yes. And when I looked, when this picture was developed, uh -huh. and I'll show you a picture sometime of it, when, when the picture was developed, uh, it was not Baba's face, but it was mine. Uh -huh. It was mine, and I was without a beard, I only had a mustache, uh -huh. and the camera that should have been in front of my eye uh -huh. was over on my right shoulder. Now this is in 76. I had no idea mm -hmm. that I would be videotaping mm -hmm. Sai Baba at that yeah. time. I came back in 78 mm -hmm. with only a mustache, without a beard, I'll go and on. with a video camera on my right shoulder. Mm. Not getting the connection till later yes, on. Right, yeah. oh. And that was when I got my first interviews with interview. the Swami was in 78. But you were seeing this from behind the camera. Oh. Well, do you want to comment what Would you, you saw? Please maybe? comment because you're um, right here. Yeah. You I can hardly believe what I'm seeing because yeah. it does not look like Baba's face. Not only that, in the picture, Baba is looking down at his hands. I'm looking at the picture now. Mm -hmm. But in the video screen, he is not looking down at his hands. He is looking up. Wow. Mm -hmm. He is looking up almost at me from the position I'm in. And the glasses, while it's difficult to see, are pretty much in the shape of your glasses. And it looks like your face. Yes, it's true. Okay. Jack, what are we going to discuss now? A brief... Uh, first Leela experienced by a non-devotee who had come on Sunday evening and there was a first bhajan session you know, after the miracles happened Sunday morning uh, appearance of Amrut and small Kanta Vibhuti and Shirdi Sai picture that evening we decided to do bhajans and beautiful miracle happened and that will be narrated by my wife on my right Sunita and uh, Jaya Himrajani uh, who was the recipient of the miracle yeah, and so I'll just hand over to them and let them describe. Sunday evening after the kirtan, I made some prasad made out of cream of wheat. I offered half to the Lord in the prayer room, and I saved half of it in my kitchen, and pan was covered. When we finished all the prayers, we, uh, I went to the kitchen, and I opened the pan, and Sai Ram, my pan was full of vibhuti. Mm. And Jaya was standing next to me, and Jaya said, Sai Ram, today I seen Baba with my own eyes. But, but Jaya did have some doubts and some things were going in her mind during the prayer session. I think she can watch for that and tell what, what was going on. Yeah, when they were doing prayer, I was thinking that if God is there, He will show me now that what what's he is really uh, there. So when I saw Vibhuti, I believed in God. Evening. Yeah. Friday yeah. evening, she got the statue and she left. When she left, she had only one thing in her mind, that I should get sandalwood and a little bit of kumkum. Yeah. 
And uh, could you tell why why didn't you want vibhuti jay no i said vibhuti is coming all over i i have seen vibhuti in my prasad so i wanted only this sandalwood and little bit kumkum not more that I, was, the, that was that your prayer yeah that I, was if god will wanted to bless me he will give me only kumkum and chandanwood nothing else i i, I and i am amazed he gave me the, the wherever i expected the kumkum he has given the like kumkum Yeah, it is it is surprising jack uh, what has happened on the the even night on which she has got kumkum and uh, um sandalwood all the <clears throat> other pictures from manhattan center and brooklyn center people who kept their pictures they all got sandalwood jaya was the only recipient the only recipient that night to receive kumkum and sandalwood as she had requested uh-huh. no yeah. Yeah. tell us about the prasad uh-huh. yeah i'm going to tell you something about prasad here of course over the last few days uh, prasads have been blessed uh, what is prasad uh, prasad is an offering to god before you start doing the prayers and then after the prayers that prasad is uh, shared among all the people participating in the prayer meeting uh, this morning uh, several um, uh, devotees from uh, hartford area visited here and they were very much moved about uh, by seeing all these miracles they said can we do some bhajans we said feel free and they sang 15 20 minutes bhajans and sunita uh, while they were singing bhajans i believe sunita was making the prasad and she brought it and offered it to the lord and after they finished the puja uh, bhajan sessions and they did the aarti prasad was open and lo and behold see what they found inside the prasad it right right there is a, a handful of uh, sandalwood powder as it was as a special blessings to these devotees who came from hartford area as as of a recognition from baba it saying Well, I knew that you were here. You know, I listened to your bhajans. I'd like to introduce here my brother Suresh Madwani, who was a total skeptic. Um, he's right here with me, and um, he never used to believe in Baba. And when all these things started happening here, he he believed in his own guru, who is Sarvanand, and he took a picture of his guru. and kept it in under baba's chair here behind me and he went to office he didn't tell anyone about it when he came back he went straight for the picture and he looked at it and there was nothing on it and he said i knew it put it there and he went put it in the bedroom he said oh i know nothing's going to come on it and i think he was you you spoke sarcastically and said if you're god come and show me right well something similar to that yeah. and uh... and what happened i would like you to say Well, 30 minutes later, I see this kids come screaming up to me saying, um, "The picture is full of Ibuti," and I still wasn't convinced. I put another picture there, in the room, and um, 15 minutes later, the kids come screaming again. I was performing an experiment, physical experiments. <laughs> I put up a third picture, and an hour later it comes. My final thing, yesterday I put this small picture there. Right here. That one there, and this morning. It's filled with sandalwood. I've seen these things happening for three years now, and I've always tried to find explanations for it. And I've even accused her of being the one who's been putting it yeah. on all the pictures. He used to say, "I am the one who put it on." <laughs> I try and find excuses and explanations. Well, I won't go straight ahead and say I'm a complete believer, but I've I've at least stopped. seeking explanations for these miracles allah malik this is a picture from one of the centers it was just brought in i don't know which center it is from but um the people who brought it were so disappointed that there was nothing on it and they were going to leave just before they left they had uh, sandalwood on their wedding rings but and then they decided to leave the picture here well That's the picture right there, and there's amrit flowing from the mouth, which has just a few seconds ago started dripping. It goes right down Baba's robe, I think up to his knees or wherever the picture ends. 
you can only catch it on the chin. You can see it from the middle of his chin. Oh, yeah. You can't see it down the rope? No, you can't see it in the light. Oh. The room we are in now is Arti's room. Arti is Ramesh's youngest daughter, and she's his last daughter. And um, she, she has this picture of Baba right above where she sleeps. And this picture was the first in this house after the Amrit and the, and the Vibhuti on the Shirdi Baba statue. The, out of the pictures, this was the first one that had Vibhuti on. At first, it was just a splash there. You can notice the two different shades of Vibhuti. The, one is a lighter shade and one is a darker shade. The lighter shade came on first. And yesterday, yesterday morning, it had these other shades of Vibhuti in a darker shade all over his face, his hands, his knees, his legs. And there's a picture of Shirdi Baba behind him, which is also covered in Vibhuti. It's an interesting thing that we see as we go from room to room. I'm sure questions come up. Well, what if somebody is just throwing Vibhuti in the pictures? An interesting thing to see if you were happen to be here is that there is very little of a booty anywhere below the picture. It merely seems to be on the picture itself. Now, if anybody has handled this, this ash and you try to throw it against something without anything bouncing off and spilling, uh, it's an interesting task. No. It means the first line, Anahi Parega, um, Bhakto ne hai aaj pukhara, is devotees are calling upon you, Baba. The second line is, Hamne pukhara, Baba sab ne pukhara. I have called upon you, everyone else is calling upon you. Anahi Parega, Baba, Anahi Parega. You have to come, you've just got to come. It doesn't matter whether you come from Shirdi or from Perthi. You may come from Mathura or you may come from Ayodhya.